In this video, I'm teaching you how to quickly light indoor traditional portraits. This wedding, it started raining outside and like every wedding photographer's nightmare, we had a little corner of a place to shoot in. Granted, beautiful background, but the light was coming from overhead and it was mixed colors. So here's what I did. I set up my Profoto B10 with a extra large white shoot through umbrella and the diffuser on the other side. This is a huge lighting modifier, but that's what I wanted. It's realistically about as big as a window I would want to light whatever I'm photographing. So that's what I went with. I positioned the umbrella as far away as I could from my subject so that I wouldn't have a ton of fall off or a big difference between how bright the light was on my subject and how bright or darker the light would have been on my backdrop. The further away I am from the subject in the backdrop, the less of a difference you'll see, which is why you have a nice bright background in these images. You also don't see much shadow on the background and that's because of the size of the light source. Having a very large modifier gives you a very soft light source, which gives you very soft shadows. Now I was only shooting groups of one, two, three, or four people, so I didn't have to have a large aperture number. My aperture was set anywhere between 1.6 if I was just photographing the bride, or 3.2 if I was photographing a group of people. I had my ISO down to 200, my shutter at 200th of a second, I could not go lower than ISO 200 because I had my highlight tone priority enabled on my camera. This allows, at least for Canon cameras, to have a little bit more detail in the whites. Consequently, I can't go as low on my ISO, any lower than 200, but to me that's a good trade-off when I'm shooting a wedding and have a lot of white that I'm photographing. I want as much detail as possible there. You might think that family photo sessions are stressful, but they don't have to be, and they can be your time to shine in front of potential clients. Download my free family photo guide and make sure that you know how to create an organized photo list so you can get family photos done no matter what. I started off with my light on TTL so that it would determine the power setting. Then I switched it over to manual and Profoto locked in that power setting on my light. For the most part, it's set it and forget it. I have a nice, soft, beautiful light on my subjects that's very flattering for them and the environment that they are in. Now, because I had a couple minutes left at the end of all the photos we had to get done, I moved my light over to the left side of my bride so that I could have a little bit more of a dramatic light. Now, it's still a large, soft light source, but by moving it over to one side, I'm allowing myself to shoot on the shadow side of her, giving a little bit more ambiance. Uh, and then don't tell the hall this, but I actually took a crystal off one of the chandeliers and put it in front of my lens. So it gave that nice little rainbow effect that you see there. There on the left. That's it. I hope it's been helpful for you to show you how easy it can be to shoot indoors. And yes, you do want to have a nice large modifier. My name is Vanessa Joy. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the things. See you next time.